What's good with it in the hood with it? Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding! Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directing the direction of the dope content that I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel. It's all because of you. And for that, I can say I'm very humbled and I'm very much so appreciative. So are you guys ready for part two? Get it. Oof, oof, oof. Right? Super oos. Part two, man, and I'm going to tell you right now, this bottle, whew, like a, oh, was that like a cheetah? Like a lion, rawr, however the fuck they do it. This bottle ate Jamestown prison up. Sierra Cons uh, Conservation Camp, tow it up, right? Hey, there, that yard wasn't big enough for this ooze. It just wasn't. He was too big for the yard, literally, right? So I had pulled up to Jamestown, and I'm on a violation. And actually, no, excuse me. I'm not on a violation, right? This is the second time, the second time around. They put me on fucking in Jamestown. I was no longer in the best of standings, okay? I was no longer allowed in my hood. I wasn't an active Northaniel, right? So at that time, that yard was a 50-50 yard. They shot my ass over there. I go to a lot of 50-50 yards, huh? It's the truth, right? This is just what happened. In life, man, you never know what's going to happen. Anyways, I was there, and so was Big Ooze. So I get there, and I had forgot all about this dude. I hadn't seen him for a while, man. The last time I seen him, he was getting hit over the head with a club. Right there in Tracy Prison, right? And I was like, damn, look at my celly, man. They're getting him, right? And that was about it. Rolled his little old shit up. He didn't have much. Gave him that, that piece of soap and all those state soaps that he went and asked the cop for. There you go, big ooze, right? So anyways, I'm on the yard, and I'm chilling. I got a few homeboys from the neighborhood, a few people that I know. And, and I'm feeling myself. I got a job in the kitchen. I'm cooking up batches of pruno. Like, I'm adapted like a motherfucker. Jamestown was home base for reals. I was getting visitas. I was living my best life, you know? And uh, I finally came to the understanding that, hey, you're no longer active, fool. Just do your time and get the fuck out of here, right? So that's what I was doing. And uh, I remember I'm walking down the yard one day and I hear, ooze. And I knew the voice. See, to you, it sounds like ooze. To me, it sounded like, la ha ha. Ooze, right? I'm like, oh, shit. That's fucking lying. It all came flooding back, right? And I should have known because on the yard, there was all kinds of strands of hair. I should have knew it. One thing I forgot to tell you guys yesterday, I'll tell you right now. He had like red streaks in his hair. He was a uso with like reddish hair. An Irish ooze. You know what I mean? A what the fuck ooze. That's what he was, right? <laughs> forgot to tell you guys that yesterday. That's what made him look like a lion was his hair was like reddish, like a reddish mane. Only on the tips though. It was a trip. Um, so I turn around and when I turn around mobbing with this little tongue and little toco, right? He's like, I thought that was you. What's up, Ooze? Give me a hug. I said, hell no. Nah. Last time I did that, you damn near broke my vertebrae, right? So I, I, what's up? I'm hugging his arm and shit. He's like, hugged arm. Hugged arm, Ooze, right? Oh yeah, what's up? His arm was bigger than my whole body. So I'm like, what's up, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing over here, bro? This ain't, the he's like, no, nah, Ooze, they sent me over here, man. I'm doing a new term and shit. I caught six years for a burglary and shit. I'm like, damn. Gang of time for a burglary. He's like, it's like, it's like my 20th one. Everything was to the extreme with him. I was like, that's right. He's like, hey, man, hey, I ain't going to lie. You got a suit? I said, damn, bro. You know, I just, yeah, I got a couple suits. He's like, look out for your boy. I just touched down. I just came from AdSeg Overflow. So I said, where they got you at? He said, they got me housed in the gym. I said, all right. I said, hey, I'm trying to get to the gym because I got homeboys over there. We're trying to do tap work. I'm in the building, but uh, I'll bless you, bro. Next yard, I got you. So, of course, the way we do it in the prison yards, we bring soups out in our uh, laundry bag. So, I take a case, man, bust half of it for the homie, whatever, you know. Like I said, we were cool. We weren't that. It's cool as long as we're in celled up together. That's the homie. If we're celled up together, damn, that's not the homie, right? That's just how that goes. So, anyways, I take my few bars of soap, some uh, shit, you know what I mean? And there's a fucking Samoan dude that's in my building. I'm like, hey, you guys got a new homeboy? He's like, yeah, that big old dude. And I said, yeah, you know him? That's that's lying, bro. I was in Tracy with him. That's a good dude right there. I said, last time I seen him, the cops were beating the fuck out of him. But I don't know what happened. I, I guess I'll figure that out. So I go hit the yard. That motherfucker's waiting right there by my building. KF it. What's up, ooh? Right? I said, here, Sole, I got you. So we walked the track, me, him, and a couple homies. And I told the homies, man, do not attempt to even jerk. Because this ooze, he's different, right? He's not like your average ooze. Like, he's fucking, like, like the rock on steroids, like, hoo -wah! right? He's like Roman Reigns, bro. Just leave him alone. So we're mobbing. And he, I'm like, what happened, bro? What, whatever happened? He said, man, they took me to the hole. They beat the shit out of me in the hole, and they just left me there. So I fucking got out. Because, you know, I was doing a violation. I was like, man, bro, that was crazy. 
He was like, yeah. I said, what happened? He said, the cop disrespected me. Oops, you know, I got to get off. I got, I got to oh, 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 oh. get off. I said, wait up. That's Native American shit. He said, oh, we do that shit too. So as we're mobbing the yard, right? He's like, ooh, so I'm going to eat this yard up. He's like, I've been here back in the days, but when I was here, it was a functioning yard. I'm going to eat this fucking yard up. I said, well, as long as I'm not involved with any type of eating, bro, because, you know, that's all I got right there, homie. He's like, no, we're good, oos. He says, so wh where they got you at? I said, yeah, I'm right here in the building, but I work in the kitchen, bro. It's the plug. I shouldn't have opened my big fucking mouth. I shouldn't have told him too much. This is my problem. You know, I'm always trying to look out, and it always backfires. I always get my hand spitting, right? So, of course, he's like, hey, oos, give me a job in the kitchen. You got the connect? I said, I can get at the cop in there, but but I don't know, man. You know, they're going to place you wherever they place you. He said, yeah. So about two weeks later, and when I see him on the yard, but he's chilling with his people. I'm chilling with mine. It just is what it is. When we pass, he's always big old arm, big old arm, eclipse arm, right? And so it is what it is. So one of my homeboys, Beto, he's like, hey, bro, you know that big ooze, bro? He's always talking about your shit, talking about you were a cool celly. I said, yeah, that's, that's the homie and shit. Now, <clears throat> what I didn't know was big ooze used to be a northerner. I never knew that. I guess he was a Norteño on the streets, went in, and like what most Polynesians do, they have a, they have options, they have a choice. And I always wondered why they get fucking options. It's because nobody wants to fuck with them. That's why. You know, hey, usually if you're a white guy or a black guy, and you're a Norteño or a Southsider or a Crip or a Blood, and you go into prison, you don't get the fucking option. You're going to go with your people or get beat up by them people, right? You're considered a dropout or no good because you, you're a coward, because you didn't hang with your hand in. There's those out there that done that before. Homies on the streets turned wood in prison, right? But all of a sudden, when it comes to the Usos, they can do what they fuck they want to do. Because if not, they're going to choke your ass out. You know, they're going to be like, ooh, right? you can't do nothing. So I guess this Valta used to be a homie. People recognized him in Stockton. Like, hey, that, yeah, that dude used to be a homie back in the days. I said, serious? That's why they sold me up with them. I guess he was still documented as a Norteño, but he was really running other. So the Usos, they can go in and they could denounce their gang. Not really like that. They could just say, hey, man, I'm for my people. And most of them are about their culture and they're for their people. It's just how it is, right? They could be Crips, Bloods, Norteño Thugs, Southsiders, whatever, Bulldogs. But when they get in, they have the option to either run with their gang or they could run with their people. And he ran with, well, he ran all over everyone. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just what he did. So anyways... He's running with his people now. So I'm like, okay, I'm starting to figure out a little bit more about him. So he would always come around with so with my NAs, right? Well, motherfucker, what's up with you? You used to be an NA. What happened, right? So I'm chopping it up with them from time to time. So he's like, give me in the kitchen. And he's on me, on me. Every time he sees me on the yard, what's up with the kitchen? What's up with the kitchen? So I said, all right, I'm going to get you in there. So I get at the sergeant that works in there. There's always a cop that works in there that just wants to eat all day and act like he's watching you, but he really isn't. You know, usually he's the plug. So this cop, I, I'm like, hey, man, my Uso partner wants to get in here. He's like, nah, I know who you're talking about. You're talking about lying. Yeah, I've worked here for 30-something years, man. That guy's a menace. That dude is all bad. Nah, I ain't going to get him in here, right? So I don't know what line. I told line A. The cop said, nah, bro. He knows you. He said, oh, I know that motherfucker. I'm going to get at him right now. I said, nah, bro. Last time you did that, you had about 30 cops beating on you. He said, yeah, but, but, but what about the one I did? I did more damage on that one oost than they did on me. I said, yeah, yeah, that's the truth. That is the truth. That motherfucker don't even work at Tracy no more. You cracked his whole mask, you know? So anyways, the sergeant, as their pat searches us, they're bringing us out from the yard. We're coming out. We went early for breakfast, you know, to, to serve breakfast. Oost, big oost is waiting right there, lying, roaring, right? So he walks up to the sergeant like, hey, can I get at you, oost? And it's crazy how the oosts, they call everyone oost. And the sergeant's like, nah, you, yeah, I guess so. What's up, right? Once he sees the dude flexing, and he's the type of Uso, he'll just be flexing the shit on him. So, ooh, can I get at you? Right? He's like, yeah, yeah, sure, you sure can. You know, um, whatever he tells him, he tells him, dude gets a job in the kitchen. Now, I've told you a story in the past. It was me and a bulldog homie, and we had it going on right there. We had it going on. We had the sugar hookup. We had one of the free staff. The homeboy was fucking on her or doing whatever he was doing on her. And she would open the dry storage and I would slide up in there and get all the peanut butter, get all the sugar, get all the sweet stuff. Like we had a Pruno factory brewing in that motherfucker. That's a fact, right? And I told you guys, one dude tried to approach and try to get in the mix. We told him Charlie, he got stomped out and that was that. But prior to that, there was an incident that happened that involved the lion. Okay. Never told you guys this one. So he gets in the kitchen. And of course, when you first get in the kitchen, you're on the bottom of the barrel. You get two jobs. Either you're fucking washing dishes and the way Jamestown is, is it's in the front, in the chow hall. They, like, that's where you watch this. People just throw their trays up there. Sometimes they'd be disrespectful as a motherfucker. Just throwing them. You got you to be like, hey, bro, see your ass on the yard, homie. 
you know, but most dudes would just stack their trays and you got one dude in there washing them, another dude running them through the machine and then another dude putting them away. There's three dudes doing dishes. Or you get the other job, which is fucking wiping the tables, right? Well, they got big oos wiping tables because that motherfucker is not going to wash it. He wouldn't even fit in the dish room. They tried to have him in the dish room one time we needed help. That motherfucker was like, I can't do it, oos. My fingers are too thick to pick the trays up. I was like, damn. So anyways, they have him wiping tables and he's a disgruntled ass Samoan. And one thing you don't want to do is get on a Samoan's bad side or upset them at any level, right? So this motherfucker's chilling right there, washing tables and, I, and they had me up. Where do you think I'm working? Where do you think I'm, I'm washing dishes like a motherfucker, right? But that was the plug. I wanted to wash the dishes because I had bundles of sugar and I was shooting to the homies. Every homeboy that passed, hey bro, boom, boom. Homies knew, they didn't even know what that was. I don't do cocaine, stop, right? Sugar. Because when you come out of the chow hall, there's black guys, right? They're cops. And they just picking dudes at random, searching them. And I'd come out, and after fucking we were done, I'd see hella bags of sugar right there. And they were like, one of you motherfuckers is plugging people with sugar. We're going to find out what's happening. Hey, if you see me with the sugar, it wasn't me. If you see me passing sugar, it wasn't me. Right? It was never me. Ever. It's never going to be me. So anyways, but it was. So I'm passing sugar to the homies. So that's where I wanted to be. Like, that was the hustle. The homeboy who was boning the fucking free staff, he was like the main cook there. So we were plugged in, right? So Big Uso seen what we had going on. So he kind of like deboed and muscled in. He was like, hey, Us, I want some pruno. I want some sugar. So I was like, yeah, bro, you got to get at the homeboy. I'm getting at you, Us. I said, all right. You got at me. I got you. Right? You didn't even, bro, you're the homie. Stop, bro. You're biting it with the fingertip. So I told the homeboy, hey, the Uso homeboy wants in. He's like, nah, bro. She doesn't even like him, man. He be in here trying to punk people, eating all the food and all the extra snacks and shit. I said, look, bro, help, help me, help me, right? We need to help this dude because what, what's, look at bro. I know how to do math. One plus one equals two. Okay. Five plus five equals 10. And he's like 10 bottles compared to us, bro. So we need to help this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Work with me, not against me, bro. So when he sees the Uso, Uso is no punk. He walks right up to him like, hey, Uso, you the one with all the dope and the sugar and shit. And the homie's like, yeah, yeah, what's up? He's a bulldog homie. He's like, yeah, what's up, bro? He was like, look, you a bulldog and shit? Yeah, I remember back in the days in this yard, man. They slid a couple of you guys through. We fucked you up, bro. I'm like, oh, shit. Uso already don't like him. His eyes are all weird and shit. He's combing his hair. You know, I'm like, hey, bro, they sell bomb-ass palm combs and shit on the fucking canteen. Did I say I needed one? No. No, you didn't, bro. But, uh, yeah, yeah. The homie's like, yeah, man. All right. Yeah, yeah. I know who you are, bro. I heard about you. Yeah, bro. How much sugar you need? All of it. Like, I'm like, bro. So he starts getting his plug in, man. Like I said, he muscled in on the ship. So this is what happens, right? So he's making some bootleg ass, Hawaiian punch ass, weird ass, Samoan fucking <laughs> Pruno on the yard. Straight caca. Now we had, so we had these big fucking Kool-Aid things. Each one of those was $25. A cup was $5, right? A Folgers jar was 10. So this is how we were doing it. If you wanted some white lightning, well, that was the white guy's thing and the natives. We didn't do that. But we had some pretty good pruno. We had a good ass kicker. And anyone who's ever uh, made pruno in prison, you understand that it's all about the pata. It's all about the kicker. You know, and our kicker had generations to it. That shit was left to us by a fucking, a fucking gang member in the highest of standings, right? In Pelican Bay. So we had some good shit. We had a very active kicker. Our shit wasn't a dropout kicker. But he had a dropout kicker. His shit was like two bananas and an orange pill. And he was telling everyone, man, this is the good shit. So he started muscling in on our territory, right? So we were working with another dude on the yard, a black dude. Okay, this black dude was a big old lifer. He had been there forever. Like, I don't even know what he was doing there. You know, um, he was a vicious character. He didn't say much, just said money, right? And he just collected money. But we were all working together. He would supply all the buildings because we couldn't get to the buildings, right? Right. I had moved from the building to the gym. So now I'm in there with Big Oos. Don't look it. Never play a Samoan on a domino table. Never gamble with the Samoan because you'll always lose. Always. Even when he lost double sixes. Hey, bro, that ain't a double six. That double. What am I, blind Oos? No. Yeah, that's a double six like a motherfucker, right? He's in there taking motherfucking shit. He's like, hey, you want to you wanna bet? Fools are like, yeah. He's like, deodorants. Dude's like, yeah. The good one. Dude's like, yeah, but that one's, that's a package deodorant. That one, oos, I'll write that one. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, reverse psychology on motherfuckers. He's in there punking motherfuckers. So anyways, I'm in the gym with them now. Me and the homeboys, we're all in the gym. That black dude supplying the buildings. It was a good thing. 
Well, this Uso is making his own bootleg fucking Hawaiian punch bullshit, right? The, the Hawaiian breeze. And he goes out onto the yard and he starts deboing on our customers. And at first the homie's like, hey, bro, I mean, your Uso's homeboy's cool and shit. He's doing too much now. Now he's fucking up the cash flow, right? I said, well, I'll go tell him then. It's very easy. Go tell him. He's like, what about you, motherfucker, right? I said, no, 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 no. See, because we got history, bro. He said, well, what's the history? Man, I seen this dude fart and knock a fucking dude down. I, I'm cool. That's my history, right? So you go make history with them right now. Let's see if you're, let's see. Let me see real quick. Yeah, your throat's about right. It's about right to fucking, for the grip. Go tell him. Go mention anything and see how he gets down. This is not your average Uso. This is super Uso. I'm telling you, right? It's the line. This motherfucker goes and tells him, hey, bro, you know, people are saying that your shit's bammer. He's like, well, you say Uso. I'm like, oh, shit, right? So the Uso is like, we're going to chunk him. So the homeboy comes up to me. He's like, oh, man, I ain't trying to fight this dude. I said, yeah, bro. I mean, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm just, I'll just, I'm there for moral support. Right? So he talks it out with the Uso. How? I don't know. Probably gave him half his canteen. But the Uso's like, is this coming from you or is this coming from that big black dude on the yard? Right? And he's like, and now Uso, Samoans and blacks are hella cool. Because I ain't going to lie. A lot of the Uso's be saying the N-word and just do their thing. A lot of them, man, were popping out there with black hoods. And they're just cool with each other. Right? So he's like, yeah, man. He was like, the homie just, you know, he just, we've been hearing some things, man. And some of this bootleg ass bullshit that you got going on, going to the buildings. So the Uso's like, don't worry. I'm going to get at this dude. So he's walking the yard with the black dude. They're chopping it up. I ain't never seen the black dude. He's laughing and whatever. They're laughing, right? When they get by the fucking pull-up bars, Uso just fucking grabs him by the head and starts fucking crushing it. The black dude's fuck. He's a big dude. He's like on his knees and boom, boom, boom. And all these little shooters come out of the little black dudes and they're on Uso, man. A couple of the fucking others, Asians run over. They are getting it. And Uso is knocking every single one down. Boom, boom. He's hitting his own people. Asians are going, hey, cuz. I'm fucking Asian, cuz. Right? He's fucking just knocking fools down. I was like, damn. The homie was like, man, I'm glad I didn't fight that dude. I said, I told you, motherfuckers, he's different. I said, listen, listen. We're on the yard, right? We're laid down. I said, listen, you can hear him singing. You can hear that motherfucker. <laughs> right? He's fucking fools up. So anyways, the cops take him down, snatch him up. He goes to the oil. I'm thinking, well, that's it. Back to fucking slinging prune on the yard and not having bullshit on the yard. Month later, guess who gets out of the oil? Hair all fucking frizzed out, wild, fucked up. I see him walking across the yard, right? We're out on the yard. I'm like, ah, oh, he's got his fucking little bag, his property. There he is. I'm like, that's fucking big ooze. He's like, so sole. I'm like, oh, shit. He's one of those dudes like he's cool, but I just wish he would leave. I'm like, son of a bitch. Here we go, right? That motherfucker goes right back into the gym. I'm still there, right? So, of course, he comes up like, hey, Ooze, I'm fucking starving. I, I got you some soups and shit. When, when am I ever going to get paid back for my half a case? Those what I've always wondered, even to this day, right? But anyways, I plug him in a few soups and shit like, what's up, bro? And he's like, I was like, how was it? He was like, a gang of J-Cats. And he was like, hey, is that black dude still here? I'm like, hell, nah. They fucking damn near metaflighted him out of here, right? And a whole bunch of dudes. How did you make it back to the yard, though? What you say, Ooze? I, I, I'm just asking, right? Just how you made it. You know, I, I, he, I walked, Ooze. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it, man. I get it. You got some big-ass calves, too. Yep, looks like you've been doing a lot of walking. So anyways, no one wants to question this dude how he got back, but there was some suspicion. Hey, man, maybe this dude gave someone up or told someone. I'll still never tell him that. But we were thinking it, right? Kind of like Smokey, you know? Hey, I be thinking that shit, but I ain't saying shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I be thinking it. So anyways, um, there was a whole bunch of white guys now in the gym. Like it had flipped. They had brought a lot of white dudes in their skins. And they had their little thing going on, right? And Uso, like I said, he's real carefree and cool. He likes to just go bullshit with everyone. So he started to try to play with the white guys. And there was they were skinheads, not woods. And they don't fuck with other races like that. Like they might do business or chop it up at some type of level. But as far as playing or or lightweight disrespecting. And this motherfucker, Uso, he'll walk by. And hey, he's the man. He'll walk by. He'll be like, you're a b Thought I was going to say it, huh, Uso? You a bomb ass motherfucker, right? But really, you know what he intends, right? So he does that, man. And one of the skinheads decides that they are going to book this fucking big old Uso, right? And I hear about it. So I'm going to be real. I gave him the heads up. So I'm like, hey, Us, these, uh, these woods are these skins, bro. They're, I heard they're going to move on you. What'd you say, Us? This motherfucker was eating a big... All right, look. Every night before I went to sleep in prison, I ate a couple butt naked soups, right? Or some mayonnaise in there with a little tuna. Couple soups, you know, for the protein. You go to sleep, boom, you get size, right? Because you work out and shit. You're always hungry in prison. 
This motherfucker ate like 10 soups, a whole summer sausage, a fucking pack of tortillas, a big old jug of Kool-Aid. I mean, this was before the spread. This motherfucker was different. This motherfucker dropped his bowl right there on his bunk. It shit spilt everywhere. I ain't gonna lie. Islanders, I got nothing but respect for you, but that bunk was dirty than a motherfucker, right? I don't know if he just lived that way or that's the way it is, but man, that motherfucker, that motherfucker was growing palm trees out of it. It was that dirty. He had all kinds of fucking curtains on his bunk and it, it, it was just, mysteriously, it looked like fucking Maui on meth, right? It was fucked up. So that motherfucker dropped this bowl, boom, food falls everywhere. I'm like, damn, that's a big old chunk of summer sausage right there. I remember thinking that. This motherfucker got up, went straight to the white dudes. They're all kicking back eating. Everyone's like eating at certain times. They're eating. He went over there, grabbed one by the face. You gonna stab me, Oos? You gonna stab me, Oos? And that dude's like, I fucking got a black man's hand on my face. The other dude's like, he technically he's an Islander, but same, same difference. Man, these white dudes tried to get on him. This dude smacked everybody. Boom, 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 boom. White dudes were fucking trying to get on his head. He had a white dude pulling his ear. No, oh, he's shaking him. He's still, ooh, la, ha, ha, ha. ooh, ooh. Right, he's fucking him up. I'm going to tell you right now. This time, he didn't make it back to the yard. This time, they took all these white dudes. They took him to the hole. And I ain't going to lie. When he's leaving, he's like, pack my shit, who's pack my shit. I'm looking at other people like, I ain't touching that man's shit, right? Hey, look at This is the cold part. The cops went over there. This disgusting ass bunk. They left the food there like all day. Flies around it and shit. <laughs> it was crazy, man. It was flies around that motherfucker anyways. Anyways, with that being said, that motherfucker got to Jamestown, tore it up. I never seen him after that. He was gone. That was it for fucking Super Oos. Um, But I'm going to tell you right now, bro. I've been around a lot, of, a lot of other Usos since him, and none of them were like him. Like, this guy was a different level. They were all, like, calm, cool, relaxed, mellow. They'll get off if they have to, but they're not really trying to get up because it's too much weight, you know? But they'll do their thing. And then there's some who's they just with the, the activities. This dude was just a Debo. He was a big old bully. And I couldn't believe I was settled with him when we were cool. Thank God. You know, because if not, I would not be here right now. That I promise. <laughs> you know? Thumbs up or thumbs down. I hope you enjoyed Super Oos, man. I got more Supers going on today. You guys know what it is, man. Fuck with your boy. Tap in. Good gun.